what we have here is a uh, Series X, my Series X, the one that I use almost every day. Um, and what's going on here is I am going to skin it, uh, just completely unnecessary because it's sitting be on the corner of my TV stand and uh, just kind of hanging out. But I just skinned my razor, and if you've seen that video, I did my Razor Blade 14, which is brand new. It's a really cool like mahogany uh, skin, and it's a D brand skin. And so this is a D brand package for uh, the uh, for the Series X. They have all kinds of stuff. You know, you can get you used to be able to do one X, but they don't do that anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, singular packing peanut. Which, uh, so yeah, there you go. I got you know you can customize these. Uh, this is not like a marketing video at all. Um, it's basically just, I liked it on my razor blade, so I decided to get more of it. Um, again, totally unnecessary. This thing's going to be just sitting there, but it's just a black box. The Series X, I don't mind the way it looks. It's just an unassuming black box. The Series S looks better because it's white and I like white consoles. It's just a little crisper, but, uh, yeah. So you get this cool little folder, which I would legitimately use for something else because it's nice. Um, I don't know. I don't like to toss things out unless I need to. You get a little wipe downy thing, which I will have to wipe that down because it's super greasy. So you can buy different panels. Um, I don't remember what they were, but they were like 10 bucks a pop or something like that, which seems like a lot, and it kind of is. Uh, this is Canadian, by the way. Um, but they're not crap, so it makes a big difference there. So I decided to get this like white marble, which looked pretty legit. The white looks really nice, and it kind of looks like... A little bit like the series S as a result, but the main thing is I have a pretty white setup in my house, and uh, this little marble thing will look cool. It'll look like a little um, big ass marble pinnacle thing there. So yeah, that there you go. You basically just stick them on um, the panel. So you can buy one panel if you want. You could have multicolors. They have all kinds of like oranges and stuff. And I was crazy enough to get this top piece, which there's just no way this is going to be easy. But uh, you know, I was really impressed with how well I got the razor blade one on. It was like no problem whatsoever. Um, I've done a lot of screen protectors, iPhones, like tablets, all of my handheld devices have screen protectors, plastic, glass. So I mean, I've done dozens and dozens and dozens of them. And uh, so I'm, I guess I would say I'm like somewhat experienced with doing it. Um, but those are all a hundred times more difficult than doing these stickers. You can like mess these up and just take them off and put them back on. So uh, yeah, I was really impressed with how easy it was to do. So the average person, if you're like kind of worried about it, uh, I actually wouldn't be really worried about it because it was pretty easy. So yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna want to wipe it down just to get like grease off it. You can use like I guess Windex or something. I'm gonna use alcohol. You shouldn't use alcohol a lot on things like this because I believe it would actually eventually like kind of erode the paint. That might be wrong, but uh, alcohol is pretty harsh. But uh, you know, I just want it to dry quickly. Uh, you probably want to wash your hands before doing this kind of stuff just to get like general grease off of it, general griminess. Uh, they actually have guides for doing your specific devices. So the razor blade one I watched it, it tells you how to do it. So uh, I don't need to watch it again. Basically, it's you just have to be kind of like piecemeal with it and take your time. Um, yeah, so let's just go for it. Let's uh, just be stupid and just go all in. Um, so I'm assuming it's the same as a razor blade. I should watch the video. Um, I'm not special. But uh, this is kind of how you do the razor blade. You kind of leave part of it over. So, you know, you peel part of it off. And that way you can do that. And it's not going to stick to the whole thing. And then that way you can get it nice and lined up. Now, let me take off my glasses here because I don't need them. And it's going to make things blurry. So this is this is harder than the razor blade because it's have to almost stand up to do this. So I get up top. And if you mess this up, uh, you just take it off and redo it, like I just messed it up right now. But let's see. So it looks like this one is actually pretty tight. Let's see there. Oh, that actually might be perfect. So the way they want you to do it is you kind of do it bit by bit. I can see it's stuck off. So, you know, you, you kind of have to have a keen eye, I guess. Like if you 
you have to be patient. Uh, you have to have a bit of a keen eye. You want to line up part of it. So this is lined up now, right? This top piece is lined up here. Um, and because this is, in theory, a perfect right, or more or less a perfect rectangle, that means that if this is straight, these must be straight. It's just the way that it is. Uh, so now I can pull this up. I can go bit by bit and just check that theory. Yeah, that's good. And there we are. Very straightforward. This one fits much tighter than the razor. The razor, you get a little bit of a lip intentionally. And I, they do that because they don't want, you know, they don't want you to keep bumping it and then it raises up, which makes sense for the razor because, or whatever laptop you're using because you're going to keep going like that and raising it up. We'll go on to the next one. It's really stupid to do this without watching the video, by like really stupid. But um, yeah, I'm doing it, you're not, so. Please watch the video. Uh, don't follow me. Um, this is not a guide. This might be just a little bit of a pro tip thingy, but uh, you know their guide is actually super easy to follow. Uh, what do you call this thing? My little glow light that I just got from Logitech. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Just to get a little bit more brightness. I'm just gonna put it on, uh, not super bright, you know, I don't need it like blasting but I just want to actually help me. It's not so much for the video, but it actually helps me. So yeah, so I put this on here. You're going to want to make sure that that lines up. This is a little bit low. You might not be able to see because the key can't pick it up, but it's just a touch low. I can see it on the Xbox symbol. Um, just the tiniest bit low. And it's going to bother me because the Xbox symbol is not perfect. So this part is the real tough part, getting it perfect at the top. And uh, like I said, you know, if that is straight, you can use your finger. If that is perfectly straight, because it's a rectangle, it means these are perfectly straight too. You need to make sure it's not shifted left or right. Uh, this is shifted ever slowly to the left now. So the way I'm going to try to do this is I'm actually going to go one corner like that. Yeah. It's not hard, and it's not even tedious. You just need to be patient. So now the Xbox, it's off by like a millimeter. But uh, these are fine. It could just be, you know, a cutting thing, but yeah, that's kind of cool. There's no way, I mean, how often do I walk up to my Xbox and stare into that little thing? Uh, but it's a gun. It looks good. So now because that's straight, that means these are straight just by geometry, as long as they cut it straight. So you get a nice flow without any bubbles. So yeah, that's good. Uh, it looks really cool. Yep. It's like I said, it's not as perfectly cut as the... It, it's more perfectly cut than the razor. The razor was actually intentionally slightly smaller. And the reason is, you know, you're going to keep... On our laptop, you're going to keep doing that. Eventually, it's going to raise up. And then it's going to mess up. Whereas this one, they can put it right to the edge. In fact, it almost overlaps. Not quite, but... You know, because you're not picking this thing up on a regular basis and pulling that off so so and I saw what they did with the um, dark things plates or whatever they were for the uh, PlayStation 4 and uh, yeah it's pretty cool so oh I see so you say Xbox on them they are supposed to go under that? I guess if you want to like white it out or something, there's a the letters in there. You could do this. I don't know. Because that looks kind of dumb. Oh yeah, so that's <laughs> that's the lettering. Um, so that's let's just say that's done. I probably have to adjust it a little bit. Let's just say that's done. These little things would fall out. So in the corner over here, there was this little bit here that says Xbox. And then you have your little Xbox. Oh, God, that's going to be tough. I'm going to need like a little knifey. Like a friggin' surgeon. Uh, and then, you know, because these would fall out, so. I don't have like big machinist hands, but I definitely don't have small hands, so. This is helpful. Man, 
tiny little things. Okay. And I am a perfectionist, so you could probably not do this, but I'm 100% doing it. So I'm just going to stick that little thing on there. Bam. Ninety-eight percent straight. Stick that on there. Probably do this with a pair of tweezers, but I don't have some on me. A little better and be more functionally sound. It's the back of the device, so. Cool. Probably shouldn't press it down too hard yet, but I'm pretty confident. Yeah. And that is not speaking just to my skill. It's speaking to me being patient um, and just trying to get it right. But uh, it's just easy to work with. The material is easy to work with. So, um, yeah. So you can do that and you can just peel these things off. Um, you'll want to peel these off because this is ventilation. Don't forget to do this. I don't know what it would do. But you might compromise your ventilation. Uh, I don't... I mean, there's nothing under there. It's just like the uh, information, so I'm going to leave that actually covered because it looks cool. I guess you could take it off, whatever. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, USB is all covered, so there you go. Done. Most people are probably going to go up this route. You, know, you get that look there. I'm going to leave that because I don't need to know my serial number. Uh, pretty cool. Um, nothing for the bottom, but yeah, there we go. That's the, that's the console. Isn't that cool? I don't know. It looks pretty cool to me. This looks like a nice little marble, I don't know, massive friggin' candle or something. Yeah, so you can do the top. They have different colors too. Um, this is gonna be the part that I probably suck at. I mean, I kind of sucked at the whole thing, but this is in two pieces. So that's probably because it's harder to put on in one piece and you almost for sure mess it up. Um, and you're, yeah, this is going to be much harder, but actually, to be honest, I mean, you have the holes, so. I read someone online who just did this in general, and they were like, it's really hard. All right, well, again, am I pro? Yes, clearly. Um, am I paid to do this? No. No, uh, that is not hard to do. Just, I didn't even watch the directions on this. I did it for my razor blade and just kind of adapted the method of just doing that. And it's actually easier to line up because there's lots to line up here. Boom, done. Okay, well that was really easy. Um, there you go. I don't know, it looks super cool to me. Again, I'm not going to be like, it's not going to be right in front of me. The whole time it's going to be in the corner, but I have a pretty white room, to be honest. Um, I have a pretty white setup. And I found that, you know, the big gigantic black obelisk in the corner was like, the complete opposite of unassuming. It was just a beast. Um, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.